Hi and thanks for joining me. I'm Sandy from Lincolnshire Fen Crafts and today um, I just wanted to quickly show you how to apply these um, gorgeous, gorgeous locks to um, your sheep. Um, I've got lots of different um, styles that you can create but today I'm going to be using this amazing art yarn which is from um, Highland Colours, the amazing Sarah at Highland Colours actually is a genius with plant dyes and so this is hand spun and plant dyed blue face Leicester it's absolutely gorgeous and then um, the other technique I'm going to show you is if you haven't got any curly locks for your sheep how to actually create them and it's really simple if you've just got any wool or yarn hanging about um, you can easily create a really really nice effect so um, I think we'll start with our gorgeous art yarn that we have here. Now when you're using this to get a really nice effect the trick is just to keep it all nice and flat you just keep a continuous piece going or if you want to vary um, the, the colour um, combinations you can snip it and replace it and I'll, I'll just show you how to do that but it's really really easy to apply um, I have two needles here, um, this one is a 38 which is kind of a standard all round, it's, it's pretty good for most things and you can um, complete and fulfil most projects using that. And then another one I've got here which is um, a 40 triangular and this is a finer needle and sometimes with the, with the art yarn it's a little bit... Um, harder to, to push through. So if you do have a, a, a finer needle then use that but do be very careful because as you can see it bends really easily. Um, but we'll start with the um, with standard 38 and then we can we can change and I'll show you. Okay so we have our naked sheep. Um, what I did want to point out was um, I've deliberately put one leg higher than the other because when I created them one leg was um, longer than the other and it doesn't matter because none of this is going to be seen so you can just put the legs as long as they are level with each other that's the most important thing so move them about so that they all um, sit level so that when you stand it up it's not lopsided uh, I just quickly want it's just a tip I want to show you so you know just position it where it needs to be don't worry about it don't worry about the neatness it's going to be covered up doesn't matter. Right, so I'm going to start from the front of the sheep. So we've got our sheep here. This is just a, a simple body shape with our leg shapes, which you'll find on the other video tutorials. And I've um, popped a little neck on this one as well, just to give it a little bit more structure and, um, and detail. So pop your wool on, just hold it with your hands, and then just push gently through. Just tack it on. Don't be fussy over this. And to keep it quite sculptural and you know so it's not too bulky and also it means you're using um, less yarn as well because um, it's not always easy to come by and it can be it's quite expensive as well you know because it's such a, a specialist a specialist wool um, you want to use it as sparingly as possible so I'm just pushing that in and this 38 is doing the job fine so there's no need to, to use the 40 but if you find it's not quite adhering to the um, the body enough then just use your your 40 which is your final one so all we're doing here is we're just working along and then just holding that yarn there and it takes quite some time I'm not I'm not going to to do the whole thing I'm just showing you the technique um, it takes um, quite a bit of time and then you see there we've got um, a little bit of colour variation there. And you see how that, that starts to contrast. I'm just going to pop my 40 in. As you can see it's just pushing through and just sticking that wall down a little easier. And then you can just continue. 
to work around. And at this point, if you wanted, um, because this is a varia uh, variated um, yarn, as you can see all the, the different colours as you work through the length, if you wanted to, to change that colour here, just snip that off, snip the pink off, and then start to work with a different shade or a different yarn completely it, it, you know depending on what you're doing you can you know, the, the possibilities are sort of endless really when it comes to different types of yarn and styles and colours so as you can see there so you can see how that is starting to come together and you just continue to work around tacking each area down making sure it's close to the previous area you've done so there's no gaps but if you continue to do that until your um, your sheep is actually complete like this one here so you can see this one's fully formed I'll show you how to do the um, hair in a minute really easy you can see all nice, nice and flat. You can pop a tail on if you want, I tend not to. And make sure you go around the legs, as you can see. And then just to do the, the hair, what you want here is just little, little pieces that are trimmed or you can actually um, just fold a piece in half. And again, I like to use different colours for the hair. can see and then just grab a couple of pieces and you only really need to go down just to where the the ears are attached there so you just want to sort of cover up that area there and then pop that in you see that there and then pop another two or three pieces in kind of the more the merrier really and you see how that's starting to form and come together and just flick those pieces up another, another couple of pieces in here there's no real um, rhyme or reason um, to how you do this, just tuck it in and as you can see that's all starting to come together and if you've got some really long bits you can actually just tuck in that end and then where it's folded over you can actually just snip through and then when it's done as you can see I like to leave it quite long but if you want it um, a little bit neater you can go shorter or or um, just double over the long bits and then just snip through like I've shown you got some little bits coming around the ears here and you can see and there you go so that's the um, the art yarn, and um, if you've got the kits as well, you'll you'll have this yarn in the box, um, and also um, the the blue art yarn as well. Uh, absolutely gorgeous these. Um, so pop those to one side, and I want to show you another technique. So this is one I've created um, from just straight pieces of yarn. But can you see how wonderful that texture is on this and the, the lovely textural finish it has. It's gorgeous. Now this is a um, ooh, rug yarn, I believe. So it's quite coarse, but it is 100% wool. It doesn't need to be 100% wool, but it, it does really need to have some wool in it for it to actually stick um, to, the, to the wool, the body um, of your sheep. Um, 
So it doesn't have to be no way near 100% wool, but it does need to have some wool in it. Um, but this is actually 100%. So here we have um, Naked Sheep again, all ready for its jacket. Really simple technique. Just pop your yarn on, and again, either a 38 or a 40. As you can see, either one will do. And you're just going to start to create little loops all over the body. And it's, you're just going to catch it with the needle. No particular direction. Some will be a bit longer than others. You can come back and tuck them down later. And just continue like this until the whole sheep is covered. And you see all that coming together and you're creating those gorgeous curls. And this is quite a chunky yarn as well. I think um, I really like working with the chunky yarn because it gives a really nice effect. And you can have them as long or as short. So you can have them quite close to um, the sheep's body or you can pick up the loops a little bit longer. If you've got wire legs in your sheep, just be careful as you as you work around them because you can break the needle. If you just put um, legs on that, you know, just you've just made with just just wool, then that, there's no need to worry. Now, can you see how that's starting to form those really really nice curls? I love that. So you continue with that. Snip it off until you end up with something like this, and then with the um, this amazing hair again, very very simple. Just pop it on the head and just start to tack. But this time, keep those loops nice and long. And it just gives a really strong look when it's finished. So you just continue like so. Just curl it over. Don't be precious over it. Any direction. Start anywhere you like and just basically fill in the gaps. Go in slightly different directions. And as you can see, that's all starting to, to come together there now. And then when you've finished, you have something like this. So there you go. Two different ways of attaching wool to your sheep. Thanks for joining me.